Artists are speaking out against a decision by Greenville officials to change a proposed Black Lives Matter mural near the town common. The city council last night approved the mural, but changed the wording altogether, removing the words Black Lives Matter. Nine in your side's Amber Joseph is live in Uptown Greenville. Amber, what are artists saying about this change? Ken Shayla, I spoke to Holly Garriott with the Pitt County Arts Council, and she says the 18 artists behind this mural are disappointed and frustrated, and it's not clear if they'll even move forward with the mural. This project came out of one artist proposed, and it is very important to him and our other lead artist that these words stay as close to that as possible. 18 local artists were inspired by murals across the country and wanted to bring that message and the words Black Lives Matter to Greenville. Negotiations in recent weeks led to a change to the mural at First Street between Cotanch and Washington, saying Black Lives do matter, but a city council member wanted something different. I think that to unify, the word needs to change. Um, and unite against racism. Monday night, Councilman Will Litchfield proposed an amendment making the new wording unite against racism. Council members Rick Smiley, Monica Daniels, and Mayor Pro Tem Rose Glover voted against the change. We know that the bridge needs to be mended and that African Americans has a voice in the city. Despite opposition, the amendment passed four to three. Leaders with the Pitt County Arts Council say artists spent months on the proposal and worked with the city to adapt it. Already knew very clearly that the artists did not want to change the wording and it was very important to them for it to have black lives matter. Now artists are considering whether to go on with their work losing its key message. It is a representation and a message that they feel like the black community really wants all of us to hear. The artists and the Arts Council met late this afternoon. I'm waiting for an update on what their decision will be and if they'll move forward. I'll keep you updated. Amber Joseph, 9 Your Side. Amber, thanks.